watched from the sidelines as her big sis created a successful girl group and then took over the world, achieving even greater accolades as a solo artist. It would only be a matter of time though before she would dominate the music charts in her own right. Solange Piaget Knowles was born on June 24, 1986. As her superstar sister Beyonce so eloquently put it in her 2016 smash hit, Formation, her daddy, Alabama, mama, Louisiana, when they mixed that Negro with that Creole, they made two Texas Bamas. Both Solange and her sister grew up in an upper middle class household in Houston, helmed by her father, who was a successful salesman at Xerox, and her mother, who ran a beauty salon. Her creative juices started flowing at a very young age. She displayed her vocal talent for the first time on stage at the age of five. She took things up another notch just a few years later. I have been writing songs since I was nine years old, so writing has and always will be my first love and passion. At 13, she decided that she wanted to take her pursuit of a career in music seriously. Her parents, though, had other ideas. My parents constantly tried to talk me out of being an artist. They had gone through the whole journey with my sister and just wanted me to have a normal teenage life. As it turned out, fate would intervene to give Solange what she wanted. During Destiny's Child's opening stint for Christina Aguilera's tour in 2000, Solange ended up temporarily replacing member Kelly Rowland after she broke her toes backstage during a costume change. After that, as he'd done with her sister, Solange's father became her manager while various opportunities presented themselves for her to showcase her musical talent. She first sang professionally on Destiny's Child's 2001 holiday album, Eight Days of Christmas. Then Solange took the lead, backed up by the group, on the title theme song for the animated television series, The Proud Family. Her writing was also on full display at this time. She's responsible for penning three tracks on Kelly's debut solo album, 2002's Simply Deep. Solange's debut album, titled Solo Star, first dropped in Japan at the end of 2002, and then in the US at the beginning of 2003. Even at her young age, she co-wrote and co-produced several of the project's tracks. Overall, the album ended up producing lackluster results. Years later, Solange would reflect on what was going on behind the music. I knew what kind of artist I wanted to be, but I didn't know how to carry it out. And I wasn't brave enough to carry it out because I was more concerned with pleasing my label. After the release of her album, Solange embarked on an acting career, taking on roles on both the big and small screens. Soon though, she would have to put both her acting and singing careers on hold for a while to become a teen bride and teen mom. Solange married her high school sweetheart, Daniel Smith, in a beautiful seaside ceremony at sunset in the Bahamas in February 2004. She was 17 and he was 19. Eight months later, she gave birth to their son. If you're thinking the situation is giving shotgun wedding, you'd be correct. After their son's birth, the family moved to the small town of Moscow, Idaho, where Daniel was enrolled in college. While there, Solange resumed writing songs, including the singles Get Me Bodied and Upgrade You from her sister's second solo album. The honeymoon period between Solange and her husband faded fast, and less than three years later, the two would divorce. As for people wanting to know the tea on what really happened between them, she told Essence Magazine in 2007, We are friends and we co-parent our son. When he gets older, I don't want him to read anything about me saying anything about his father or vice versa. When there's a child involved, I think the less information given is best. Oh, and that rumor about her leaving her husband for Lil Wayne? Solange laughs it off and is adamant that it is absolutely not true. After her marriage ended, she decided to divide her time between her residences in Los Angeles and Houston. In the summer of 2008, Solange released her second studio album titled Soul Angel and the Hadley Street Dreams. The lead single, I Decided, reached the top of the dance chart. You are the to me. Not surprisingly, since the moment Solange came onto the music scene, she's been compared to Beyonce. On her second effort though, she made it abundantly clear on the opening track called God Give a Name that she is not her sister. I'm not her and never will be. Two girls gone in different directions, striving towards the same galaxy. Let my starlight shine on its own. No, I'm no sister. I'm just my God-given name. Solange further attempts to separate herself from her sister's staple sound, making Soul Angel less pop, with more of a modern twist on hip hop and R&B, flecked with tinges of blues and jazz. In an interview with Vibe in 2010, Solange revealed that she went through it, 
physically, emotionally, and mentally while recording her new album. There was definitely a little bit of a breakdown involved. I literally gave up my sanity for a while to do this record, to the point to where I started doing it in Santa Barbara and I had to relocate to LA because I was losing it. We literally were waking up in the morning and just making music all day and all night. We left the house maybe three times. It just started to wear on me in so many different ways. I started having these crazy panic attacks. I can say that I totally sacrificed so much mentally, emotionally, and financially to get this record the way I wanted it to be. It's more than an album to me. It's a transitional time in my life. This is a dance record, but the lyrics can get pretty dark at times. It brought me closer to my family, my dude, and my son. During the eight-year gap between her second and third studio albums, Solange released her first EP titled True in 2012. She also picked up a new hobby, DJing. The following year, she announced that she'd launched her own record label called Same Records and would be using it to release her third album. In that same Vibe magazine interview from 2010, it starts off with a direct quote from Solange saying that she was trying to cut down on her cursing while going on to describe her as the quote, feisty and outspoken baby sister of global pop superstar Beyonce, end quote. So her actions four years later couldn't have been a surprise to anyone who knows her. On May 12, 2014, TMZ released security video footage of Solange physically attacking her brother-in-law Jay-Z in an elevator at the Standard High Line Hotel in Manhattan. She's seen wildly kicking and swinging at him while being restrained by what appears to be a security guard. It all went down at a Met Gala after party that took place the week before. In the video, Jay, Beyonce, and Solange step into the elevator. She immediately gets up in his face, seemingly screaming at him before unleashing the violent attack. At one point, Solange smacks Jay with her purse, spilling the contents all over the floor. Eventually, the group exits the elevator, but not before Solange takes a few last shots. All three walked out of the building together, but while Beyonce and Solange get in one car, Security walks Jay to a different one. While at the time it was unclear about what led to the confrontation, soon enough rumors began to spark of Jay's infidelity, which he and Beyonce later confirmed on their respective albums, 444 and Lemonade. Three days after the viral video dropped, the trio released the following statement. As a result of the public release of the elevator security footage from Monday, May 5th, there has been a great deal of speculation about what triggered the unfortunate incident. But the most important thing is that our family has worked through it. Jay and Solange each assume their share of responsibility for what has occurred. They both acknowledge their role in this private matter that has played out in the public. They both have apologized to each other and we have moved forward as a united family. They all proved that to be true when everyone came together for Solange's wedding to music video director Alan Ferguson in New Orleans six months later. Apparently, the couple's 23-year age gap didn't stop them from enjoying each other's company since being spotted for the first time together in public back in 2008. A Seat at the Table, Solange's third album was finally released in the fall of 2016. A resounding success, it became her first number one album in the US. This made her and Beyonce the first sisters to have both had number one albums in a calendar year. The project helped solidify Solange's place among the top acts in the business when she won a Grammy for Best R&B Performance for the lead single, Cranes in the Sky. In 2017, she revealed that she'd been battling an autonomic disorder for several months. It even caused her to cancel a couple of upcoming performances. While Solange didn't share what type of illness she was diagnosed with, people with autonomic disorders have trouble regulating heart rate, blood pressure, digestion, and body temperature as a disorder is a dysfunction in the nervous system. The last few years of Solange's life has had its fair share of ups and downs. She released her latest album, When I Get Home, in 2019. Even though it didn't make a splash on the charts, it was well received by critics. Sadly though, later that same year, she announced her separation from Alan on her Instagram. Apparently by that time, they'd already been apart since the beginning of the year. Not long after, Solange gave love another try, with experimental jazz artist Gio Escobar, who's 10 years her junior, from the band Standing on the Corner, and with whom she'd previously collaborated on her 2019 album. She made a bold and unusual move the following year by publicly acknowledging the relationship on Instagram. A source who spoke to the New York Post, page six, even pointed it out. It's not a new thing, but it's new for the public. It's a big deal that she shared the photo because she's so private. She's super happy and they're a happy couple. 
They're very cute together.